In this video, we're going to get a little fancy and start doing some animations strictly for extra credit. I don't expect you to understand this yet, but I want to show you it as it spices up our app. In order to complete our animations, we're going to need to comment out some of our previous UI element code. So let's go ahead and add a return or two here, and we can highlight our previous code for our UI elements. And I'm going to hold down the command key and press the question mark or forward slash key, and it's going to comment out this code out. The reason I'm going to do this is I'm going to save this code in case I want to just do the strict updating of my views. But for now, I don't want this code to evaluate. So I can click down and add some more code. If I want to uncomment it later, I can highlight it. And once again, hold the command key and press the forward slash key. Let's go ahead and start typing our code to do our animation. So we're going to type UI view and we're going to write transition with view and we're going to make sure we choose the transition with view and not transition from view. And we can press the return key and now we see that we have to do or fill in a bunch of these options here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the UI view option and I'm going to replace that with self.view which means we're going to be transitioning or updating our current view. We're going to change the duration, which is how long this animation is going to occur for, to 2.5. We're going to change the animation option here to UI view animation option transition, transition cross dissolve. And you can press the return key to auto complete it. And then I'm going to go down here, and when I get to this uh, up arrow here, I'm going to go ahead and double click it. And what that's going to do, I can redo that one more time just to show you that again. So I make sure I have this void animation selected, and I'm going to double click on it. I'm also going to do the same thing at the bottom here for this up arrow bool finish completion. And these are called blocks. And we'll talk way more about blocks in the future. This is pretty advanced code. But what it's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to add code when certain actions are completed. So it waits until an action or certain bit of code is completed, and then something evaluates for us. We're getting an error here because at the end here, we need to add a semicolon. If we notice, there's two brackets on each end here. So this is just kind of like a really, really long method call with a lot of information in between. So we have one final step we need to do here. And we need to do, we need to erase both of these things that say code. And we notice that the errors go away. And inside of this first curly brace set here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to update our UI view. So we're going to say self.imageView.image is equal to random dog. No, random dog dot image. And we're going to say self dot breed label dot text is equal to random dog dot breed. And finally, we can update the name label. So we'll say self dot name label dot text is equal to random dog dot, uh, dot name. And now we're going to be updating our properties on our view, but we're going to have a nice transition each time we update. It won't be an instantaneous update. The duration is 2.5 seconds here, which you can feel free to change and experiment with to see different uh, animations. You should also feel free to go ahead and try to find other options for UI view animation option transitions, and there's a bunch of other ones. You might have even see the autocomplete, seen the autocomplete when you were typing this in. Uh, lastly, the animations that are occurring is the change of our image view and the two labels. Don't worry about the semantics of the, this yet. Let's just go ahead and rerun our application so we can see the new animation occurring. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom here, and we see that we get this nice fading and this cross dissolve uh, effect. And we notice too that the button isn't available to us uh, as we're pressing this as this view is updating as well. And we'll talk more about why that's occurring. Uh, in a future video.